my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here, and today I have for y'all another monthly artist feature video where I will be highlighting and showing off six different accounts that I have found here on Instagram or through other social medias. Pretty much most of it is always Instagram. <laughs> it's where I do a lot of my window shopping. I apologize in advance because I am going to butcher every single name on this list because I am not sure how to say any of these. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. So, this first account, I didn't follow them first, they followed me first, and this was very, very recently. I mean, like, the past week or two recent. They're Tully Bears, I think that's how you pronunciate that. Tully? Like, T-U-L-I, Tully? Tully Bears? Or Tully? It's either Tully or Tully. I guess I'm gonna go with Tully, I don't know. I'm sorry, feel free to correct me. <laughs> Is it toll or two? Anywho, they followed me first, so I followed them back because I just thought their art was extremely adorable. I mean, oh, I mean, who wouldn't love these? They're like little dolls. They're furry, so they are flocked. Well, I guess that's the term. I'm not sure if that's the term for if it has fur or not. Flocked? I think it is. But I think they might be partially other materials, maybe like wiring, maybe possibly clay, but it looks like a lot of fabric material. Could possibly be even be felt. Um, but yeah, I just thought her art was really cute. She also makes clothes to go on her little dolls as well, which is just adorable because you know I'm a sucker for anything with bunnies or bunny ears. And look at the little matching bunny stuffed animals with the little fox set pajamas on the like foxes or either those are red pandas it's hard to tell for sure by the way they're adorable and then she has some progress photos which i always love progress photos there's just something so satisfying about it and they're pretty adorable she makes the clothes it looks like they possibly could be posable maybe and she even has the little official tag on it and look at this bunny oh, you can see that i like this i'm a sucker a big old sucker for anything bunnies. But yeah, just super, super duper cute. She does stuff other than rabbits, obviously. Bears, cats, panda, foxes, everything else in between. Oh, look, she even did... I wonder if she created that person or if that doll came in like that. Little angel by... Oh, this is by somebody else. Luna is her name. That's cool, and she even tagged her so you can see who made it, but that's really adorable. But yeah, she makes really cute animals type dolls, is what it looks like, or animal type plushes, whatever you want to call it. She also has a shop up here, so let's just click that over and see. Bear Pile, that's cute. Um, She's from the Czech Republic, so not here in the United States, but that's okay. Sometimes it's good to get things from out of states. And, wow, 70. That's not that bad. I actually thought it would be a lot more. Plushes are usually triple, if not quadruple, more expensive than most anything else. This is her own official website, so you can see by the URL code there. And she just has some of the cutest stuff. A lot of the stuff has been sold or adopted already. Oh my gosh, I've been talking forever. But you can come on over through her link right here and check out her page. And we're going to stop this and go on to the next account. I got carried away. Let's go to the next person. Okay, second account. We have Wicked West. W-K-D West. So I'm going to think that that's abbreviated for Wicked. Oh, yeah, thankfully, they have it spelled out here, so I'm not looking that stupid. They use the pronoun she, her, which is great, but I know ahead of time, so I'm not clumsily saying the wrong pronouns. I never do that intentionally to hurt anyone's feelings or offend anybody. It's just if I'm not sure, I usually use she, her automatically. I know I should use them, they, but I don't know. It's just an automatic thing my brain processes. Anywho, they have quite a little story collection here you can watch and read about them they have their own website which we'll get to in a moment but for now prepare yourself for this awesomeness because this is the sexiest mushrooms you will ever see in your life look at them cheeks i apologize to the children that watch but these mushrooms well maybe let me put a parental advisory on this one these mushrooms are sexy <laughs> um, they're not all posed in erotic positions, but a lot of them might be, possibly. 
And I found her not that long ago. My sister's a big fan of mushrooms, so I sent it to my sister. But I ended up being a huge fan myself. They make polymer clay sculptures. They also made stickers. I believe there was a few other things. I've looked at her shop off camera, but I cannot remember everything off the top of my head. Sticker sheets. Look how cute that is. Oh, to die for. And they do them on four legs or two legs, just depending on the style of the mushroom. Many different colors, many different breeds of mushrooms, so the heads have different textures and different shapes. If you eat mushrooms, you know what I'm talking about. Another little process TikTok video there. Oh, they did a fundraiser. That's awesome. But yeah, their style is just something different. Oh, look, pins. Oh, she made little brooches. That's so cute. I love that. That was also for um, some kind of auction. Stickers on a water bottle, so they're waterproof. More of her brooches on a bag. Yeah, I just think her style is really unique. It's really different. It's kind of like an animalistic version of mushrooms or a humanized version, like a personified shroom, <laughs> to say the best. All right, let's go over and check out her shop. This is her own official shop, obviously. And you can shop now, see blogs. Did I follow her? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, let me see. No, I hadn't yet. Well, hello. I like that. Now I know where to follow her. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> let me just pop on back over there real quick. I'm just going to exit that out because I don't want to hit back and for some reason <laughs> it unsubscribed to her which I don't want that I can't wait to check her out um her YouTube only had 119 subs so she might be newer to YouTube I didn't check but either way that doesn't matter that just means she needs more of y'all support out there <laughs> then we have some limited edition stuff vinyl stickers brooches magnets um art prints etc etc so she does have very Different things, very different sections you can check out. Stickers, very reasonably priced. A pin badge pin pack for four dollars. That's way too cheap in my opinion. Girl, go up, yes. <laughs> um, thirty dollars on the brooches or the magnets. That's reasonably priced, but it's like right on the money, honestly, for what I think it should be. But yeah, come and check her store out because I've been talking way too long again. And definitely sub to her YouTube channel and, you know, check out her shop. Girl, you need to use a link tree so you can put your YouTube up here, too. Let the people know. But, um, anyway, well, I guess she posted it here. That way you know she has the vlog channel and everything. Watch now on YouTube. I, oh, my first public vlog, so I guess she is new. Anywho, let's go ahead and, and go on to the third account. Third account here. Sorry about the ding and the last time that was a customer messaging me on Etsy. Very happy with their purchase. Woohoo. All that good stuff. But, um, <laughs> we're on the third account. Gosh, good gosh, I can't talk. Their account name is Nat You Craft or Not You Craft. I'm going to go with Nat, like a Nat, like the bugs, because maybe it stands for Natalie or something like that. Maybe her name. I'm not sure. They have a decent amount of followers and need more. I didn't mention that in the other ones, but definitely come and follow all these accounts. They're really amazing. She not only does clay, she does resin, and it's cold porcelain. Fria porcelina, which is Spanish for cold porcelain. Well, some type of Spanish. They ship worldwide, which means they might be somewhere that's not in the U.S. They have a link tree, which has all that good stuff we'll get to in a moment. Ooh, a YouTube channel tutorials pardon me hold up I didn't realize all these people have YouTubes yes and those are so cute <clears throat> I said I was gonna go to that in a minute sorry um <clears throat> back to this <laughs> she makes some of the cutest stuff using molds and some of it not using molds and she even sells her own sells her own molds Nuevo mold she must be some, she's obviously typing in a lot of Spanish, so probably somewhere in a Spanish-speaking country or continent. Possibly. But yeah, she also sells these molds, I believe, along with the charms themselves. And she also sells the eyes to make the molds, which I don't know if I can find that. I mean, to make the figures. 
that's the reason I started following her is because I actually found her little eyes for sale, I believe is what it was. Yeah, look at this. Look, perfect eyes. Ten sheets. How to make 3D eye stickers. Como hace ojitos 3D. In Spanish. I do speak a little bit of Spanish, but that I've never said. Auto adhesive. Adhesibles. I don't mean that really. I'm just still learning Spanish. Oh, and she's even glazing them, so that's nice. Oh, is that how she makes them 3D, I guess? Maybe she draws them and then puts the glaze on top? That's clever. Put it under the UV light so it's UV resin, which dries almost instantly, which is great. I wish I had some, but... I just hadn't taken the time to invest into it. I've been talking about this too long. But yeah, look at these cute little things. And the fact that you can actually buy the mold yourself. Now arrived in UK and available in the Queen. Yada yada. Huh, I wonder if they live in the UK then. I don't know. But yeah, that's just some of the cutest stuff. The first thing I found was the eyes. The second thing I looked at was this bat. That is just... Oh so cute and she used this cute little tool right here to paint all these details on and that's really interesting kind of paint tool i was really fascinated by that as well painting unicorn eyelashes and the fact that they do like these helpful tutorials too is just really amazing oh so i guess uv resin safe to bake i didn't know that huh because I'm assuming they put that in there before baking? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Don't take my word for that. But yeah, let's just go on over to their Etsy shop. They also have their own website, Facebook fan page, slash store. I've been talking way too long about her again. I don't know why I'm killing it on this tonight. Sticker sheets, 99 cent. Wow, that's so cheap. UV light curing resin. What is that? Wow, is that for the container? $8.99? Uh, I was like, what, 20 cent? Like, what? I don't know what that was, the one gram, I guess? Why would you buy just one gram of the UV resin? Like, that's not going to stretch very far. <laughs> but, you know, either way, she sells art plus art supplies, which I just think it's awesome. And, yeah, now you can see all these different molds that she's created and you can buy just so amazingly awesome adorable and these prices are killer crazy like 49 pardon me that one's more reasonable that's what i thought it would be but this one's 750 1250 yeah this is just really really cool <laughs> It's just something different, you know what I mean? Normally I show people that just make the art as is. Not a many, not that many art supply sellers, but yeah. She's definitely somebody you want to come check out. Especially if you do polymer clay or cool porcelain. These molds could actually help you out. But I think we've been talking way too long, so let's go ahead and go on to the next account. Fourth account here, we have something a little bit different. We're out of the woods of the polymer clay and into the plush pits, I guess you could say. This is Squishes Get Stitches. I've followed them, and then another person followed me, and they are another, like, squishable hybrid kind of account. I can't remember what their name is. Let me see if I can find that real quick, too. Mm. Ah, gosh. Let me see. Franken-Mellows, or Franken-Mallows, pardon me. I'm sorry that took so very long. We didn't need that long pause of silence there. But yeah, Franken-Mellows followed me, and I followed Squishes Get Stitches. I don't know if they followed me back or not. I can't remember. They have a lot of followers. This is, I read a little bit about her through her um, like listings. She is a college student, I believe is what it says. So, pardon me more stuff beeping. <laughs> Etsy's been great right now. Hopefully it'll stay like that the rest of August. <laughs> um, artist residency. Yeah, this is what I read about her. 
So the fact that it's a residency makes me think it's got to be college. And they are going to be focusing on ceramics more soon, so they won't be able to do these as much. But in the meantime, we can enjoy what she can pump out. And I mean, she's been pretty good about pumping this stuff out for being too busy at the moment. That was four days ago. That was one day ago. And this was today. And her stuff sells super fast, because we all know Squishmallows are really popular right now. But just the... What's the word I'm looking for? The quality of these, the way she stitches them together, is just really satisfying and really professional. That's why I started following them, because I just loved it. I just think it's like such a cool take and it's not just the body she morphs together sometimes she'll do like horns and ears and stuff like that yeah just super super awesome I don't know what her prices are because I actually haven't been able to see anything because they sell as almost as fast as she lists them obviously because everything has sold already Ugh. makes sense 117 sells and um, that seems low for selling everything as soon as it sells, but that's because she's, um, I think, newer to Etsy. Just started it recently, probably because of a residency. Um, let me go back to the very beginning and see if there's any inclination of what she did beforehand. I guess it's always been Frank and Mello's. Huh. But that's cool. But yeah, um, she's got a few Etsy sales, definitely deserves more, but obviously they're flying off the shelf, literally, so I don't think she's too worried about it. And five-star reviews across the board here, everybody's super happy. Yeah, just really, really awesome. And I don't know where they're located. I think they're in the U.S., but I'm not entirely sure, so make sure you check that. And yeah, she's just like a really, really cute and something kind of different kind of artist. Yeah, so definitely check her out. Let's go ahead and go on to the next account. Alright, fifth, second to last here, we have Strike the Madness. This person's account was recommended to me by one of my followers slash subscribers, gotcha underscore club fan 20 on Instagram. I cannot remember their YouTube name off the top of my head, but that's their Instagram page, and they recommended this person to me. And I actually really liked the style of the art, because I like cute things, but I do also like creepy things too, and they are right up my alley when it comes to that. They have a lot of beautiful original art. This was one of the things I really liked, although I hadn't liked it yet, on like physically liked it. <laughs> But that's just really cool. I know that's just a uh, more simplistic paper drawing right there compared to the other stuff, but it's just as impressive. And then here's something a little bit more detailed, a little more chaos, a little more intricacies. It's just beautiful. There's just something so interesting about that. Seems like they do mostly prints. Sister pack I received, yada yada. Ah, they did some kind of trade or something. But yes, this was something I definitely liked right away. I know, I hark on fan art, and then I still like fan art. I can't help it. I even still make some myself, obviously. It's just, ugh, look how awesome that is. That looks just like Billy the Puppet from the Saw series. I love it. Oh, and they got the date when they created this, too. This is so awesome. I'm assuming this is hand-drawn ink drawing. Okay. Because I was thinking that was paint, but it's ink. And it's just so beautiful. This is also another Saul homage. I didn't like this one yet. There we go. And then they were talking about the movie. And some personal stuff, which I won't be on there too much longer in case they don't want me showing that. But they do have it up publicly. But it's still, I'm trying to keep things that are not are necessary out of the conversation here. But yeah, just really interesting. They did that on a priority mail label. That's cool. I like that. It seems like they mostly do ink. Inking. That's when you draw mostly with pens. And then we got Sharpies here. That's cool too. Really psychedelic looking. But yeah, it's just a nice, more abstract kind of art that they're creating. Oh look, there's a more like inked out version of that. I did like that one. That's why I didn't like the other one. But yeah, just very, very cool, very intricate, looks like it takes tons of time. They also have a store here, we can click that and check it out. Oh, their store might not be working. 
No. Well, I'm sorry, Strike the Madness, but you might want to check your link because your um, website's not working unless you know that. Oh, look, you can see the person that recommended it. You can see their name right there. <laughs> um, thousand followers definitely need more followers, so come on over and check this out, especially if this is something you're into, like a darker, more mature, abstract, deep kind of thing. I'm not all about cutes and fun. Some things I do like that are a little more meaningful and a little more dark and tasteful. But anywho, that's enough. Let's go on to the sixth and final account. Last but certainly not, not least, we have, you think I couldn't speak before. Now let's really mess up the title of their shop. Pin Tuck Cups Pins. I'm going to avoid saying this. They are an artist I found recently. My sister's been really into Furby art, whether it's the long boy plushes or the um, pens, stickers, just everything Furbies. We grew up playing with Furbies. We're both 90s babies. So this person we found just randomly, and I've been following them a little while, not too long. They have tons of followers, but could always use more. And, um... They make Furby art mostly. There's other stuff in between too, but the Furbies is the reason we're here. They're the reason for the season. They do prints. They do pins. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's 8.30 at night. Please forgive me. They do enamel pins. It's just, and those are all fan art, like horror ones. That's a very sexy one. <laughs> oh, those are like um, oh, shoe charms, like for Crocs. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, if you don't know what this is from, it's from what we do in the shadows. This is Guillermo, as you can see right there. And, um, season three is about to come out in September, so if y'all watch that show, be prepared. <laughs> so awesome. I'm glad that she likes that, too. And look at the underwear. Um, Beetlejuice and Lydia. Food. Girls and Furbies. And then there's, like, actual Furby stuff as well, like, legitimate Furbs. And it's not one to load, but you get what I mean. Like, those are Furbies. Like, that's the inside of a real Furby. But, yeah, all oh, Powerpuff Girls. They just do really, really, really cute art. Like, the opposite of the last account. Just super adorable. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. There's the scary fan art ones, or scary ones like that. And she has some original scary ones, too, but... You get the gist. It's just super adorable, and I'm really into all the Furby art right now, and she's just one of the few people I follow. I might feature some of the other ones later. Um, wow, they got a lot. Uh, let's just go to their shop for now. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already long as heck. They live in Las Vegas, Nevada. At least I can tell you that's in the United States. Lots of sales. Gosh, Lee. That's amazing. Ugh. Wow, that's cool. Um, anywho, the shoe charms are six. Enamel pin six. Wow, six. Twelve. Twelve. Really, really stinkingly good stickers. Three dollars. Wow, for that? That seems too cheap. Okay, that's for one. I thought that was for the set. Okay. I was about to say $3 for our set's way too cheap, but for one, that makes sense. Oh, look at the octopus, the taco, taco furb. Oh my gosh. Little Japanese hot dog thing. If you know Japanese food like I do, like the ramunes and stuff, and the omurice. I'm really obsessed with Japanese cu cuisine, can you tell? Ebi tempura, shrimp tempura. Yeah, I've never been to Japan, but if I ever go there, I know how to order my food if nothing else. Look at those furbs. Oh my gosh. Those look so professional. They look better than the charms that she's gotten on her shoes already. <laughs> but wow. They're so cute. I mean, no shade to her charms. It's just her work is so cute. Okay, um, <clears throat> I think that's enough. <laughs> Come check her out. Come buy from her on Etsy. Follow her on Instagram. And now I'm going to go over to my own page to do the outro spiel. And here we are. I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all six of the amazing artists in this 
video compilation. Go follow them, go sub to them, go like their stuff, go buy their stuff, do whatever you can to support all the artists out there. Thank you to all the new people who have followed me on Instagram and to the new subscribers I've gotten on YouTube. And thank you so, so, so much for all the Etsy sales so far in August. Let's end this month good with a few more sales because it would be great because I've had to buy a lot of packing supplies. So my profit margin is not at the moment, but it's just negated by all the supplies. <laughs> but yes, thank you all for the love and support. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to come follow me on Instagram so you can hear about shop sales, so you can see work in progress, see custom orders, reviews, box art I've done, everything else in between. Still working on making a TikTok to post videos as well. So thank you guys so very, very much for, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in next week's video, which I don't know what it'll be yet, but you will see then. And thank you to everyone and thank you gotcha pond for suggesting that one account that was very awesome all right i love you guys so much bye bye my bunnies